behaviorism in psychology takes center stage. So uh, Pavlov, who you may or may not um, have, do we, do we know this person, right? So what's the, this is one interesting thing that I learned. What, what's, what's, the, what's a Pavlov parad paradigm? What's a Pavlovian experiment? You can. Or a dog. Okay, a dog. Sal salivating whenever you rang a bell. Oh, man, I, <laughs> perfect. This is exactly what I took into the, the study, right? That you end up having bell, my thought of a Pavlovian experiment was bell ring, you present meat powder, yes. dog salivates, then you take the meat powder away, bell rings, salivate. Do you know what happened? Pavlov did only two experiments using a bell. I've always associated Pavlov with a bell, and it's not a bell, it's a buzzer. The little things you learn <laughs> when you do history, all right? But so anyway, change, change the way you tell a, a Pavlovian story. That actually, the, I don't know where the bell came from, but it's what we um, have received. So the idea that, and then Skinner, um, who actually has an IU connection, Skinner was uh, on the IU faculty in psychology for some time. Uh, took the uh, behaviorism model and ran with it and started to, and created in fact, what he called classical conditioning. So we should know what this stands for. The S stands for, anybody? Stimulus. Stimulus. And then it leads to a predictable response. And what ends up being removed is this purple arrow. And I'll ref refer to the purple arrow a lot in the talk that comes up. So what ends up happening, sorry, when you write a book, you get a chance. I'm sorry, when you write a book, your ego goes wild and you say, I'm going to put a whole damn paragraph on a slide. And I did. So one of the most famous and influential scientists, the, this, is, this is my work, um, uh, with behaviorism, B.F. Skinner believed that the only things necessary for explaining the behavior of any organism, including humans, was a description of the important elements of the external environment and an understanding of the functional connections. <laughs> Whoa, Whoops. Skinner. I'm salivating. According to Skinner and other strict behaviorists, it was not only unnecessary, but was somewhat foolish to develop theories about what was going on inside the brain of the animal, since we could not possibly measure with any accuracy uh, something that we could not directly observe. So if you go back to this, all of a sudden this becomes not only impossible to measure, but foolish to chase after. Okay? And you see this in communication scholarship. So this is the Shannon Weaver model, which is basically SR expanded. Okay, That there isn't much description of what is happening here in the arrows. They aren't purple.